Hello. What you doing? How's everybody? Yes, I'm back. It happens. This is a little of the uh, Elf Lash Brow Serum. Yes, I'm putting it on before I put eye makeup on. Go figure. I haven't had any problem with any of my makeup since I started doing this. And I really need my eyelashes back. I really do. I was doing a serum for a while because I had gotten some of the uh, Grande in one of the boxes and it was working lovely and all of a sudden I had eyelashes and where I had over plucked on the brows it was coming back and all that stuff and then I stopped because the Grand A is expensive, A. Eh? So, yeah. Then Elf came out with theirs. And I've also got this stuff called Bio Aqua that I picked up on the cheap. <clears throat> anyway. There we go. That part's on. Yes, I trimmed up my hair some more. Because it needed it. Bad. It was just laying limp here. I was going down. I was done. By the way, if Tattooed Mama happens to pick up on this particular episode, yes, Katie, darling, you inspired me. So, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, it's 101 degrees in my little town. It really is. So I picked out my, my Revolution Chill. This is one of the ones with the, the CBD stuff. It's got all of the marijuana leaves all over it. So... We're going to hope this helps me chill just a tad because it's hot some around here. The entire Pacific Northwest is under what's called a heat dome. The weather has basically gotten hot and settled in and is kind of just stuck here. all the way up the Pacific Coast. You know, those places where it's supposed to be rainy all the time and, and that kind of stuff. Well, let me tell you. The heating issue going on with climate change has seriously disturbed people that you know, places in, like, Washington State, kind of like a lot in the British Isles, they didn't normally have air conditioning. And over the last 10 years or so, they've had to start putting it in, as a matter of course, instead of if they decided to And it's like, even though I'm on the edge of the desert, the way this house is built, if we didn't have these quote-unquote heat domes going on, all you got to do is open the bloody windows and keep the shades down because there's enough of a breeze and there's not really any humidity to argue with. I mean, at 101, the humidity in our little town right now is 1%, okay? 
Okay. One percent. I can work with that. I'm used to places like on the East Coast. You could get to anywhere up to a hundred percent humidity at which point they start not only giving you the temperature they start giving you the humature because that tells you how hot it feels because of the humidity and going from Virginia and West Virginia you know the general Washington DC area basin um, which for those of you who don't know, Washington, D.C. was built in a swamp. No, literally. Built in a swamp. It is a swamp that crosses over from Virginia to Maryland. And they cut a big diamond shape out of Virginia and Maryland to make this square acreage for the Capitol complex. Now, the Virginia portion was seeded back because they didn't think they would ever need that much property for the Capitol compound. Yeah, that was a bit of a mistake. We all get that. That the area in Virginia is now still part of the DC military complex. So there's a whole bunch of military installations and contractors and that kind of stuff in the area of Crystal City and Rosalind. All up through Arlington there. So, yeah. But that whole area is a big basin off of the Potomac and the Chesapeake watershed. And you would get weather that would build up, that would be bouncing off the mountains in Front Royal and up to Frederick and all of that, that were ringing around the west side and putting it into that basin between the mountains and the bay and the ocean. And it would just sit. Before air conditioning became a real thing, people stationed there in the military got hazardous duty pay for being in a swamp. Okay. I was very grateful to my father when we got our very first air conditioner in the house. Thing was enormous had to run a special heavy-duty line for it. But it cooled the whole bloody house. I lived in a little cracker box. You know, the little tract houses in the suburbs. You know, the little three-bedroom, kind of a shotgun setup. You've got the living room, dining alcove, kitchen on the front of the house. The back of the house is the master bedroom, the nursery size bedroom, and then the other larger bedroom on the far end, and the one bathroom. One. Didn't matter how many kids you had, you got one bathroom. And you were happy to have it because it was an indoor bathroom. And it, it was not a bad little house. It was just like all the other little houses in the neighborhood. Not a big deal. But I couldn't sleep at night because it would get so hot and you'd end up soaking wet just from sweating and not being able to have the sweat evaporate because the humidity was so high. It was horrid. That air conditioner was a godsend. 
Now, the first year we got here into this area, it wasn't too bad. We didn't run into any of these, these hot spot things. And then in 2019, we had a huge number of wildfires all along the western side of the state. Partially started by one in the Columbia River Gorge because a teenager flipped a firecracker into drought dry woodland. Yes, thank you. And then we got one fire over on this side of the state because in a drought dry location, Somebody decided to use fireworks for a gender reveal. We had a few other small fires in this general area, but most of it was lightning strike stuff. That one, though, was a doozy with the firecracker in the Columbia River Gorge. We lost whole towns all along through there and there were there were wildfires up and down route 5 all the way along the coast because of lightning strikes and some of the fires were started by piezoelectrics for those of you not familiar with piezoelectrics, it's what happens when you crack crystals together. How do you crack crystals together to cause a wildfire? You have an unstable seismic area that is doing even a small shift. That's where a lot of these quote unquote jump up fires that they were trying to blame on Antifa to set. And it's like, uh, no, they're all along fault lines. Pay attention. Pay attention. All along fault lines. Anyway, science. Some people just ain't into it, you know? So, be that as it may, I started my new class this morning. It's on abnormal psychology. Hey, this is the class that, that starts, that is the big push into one of my minors. I'm doing psychology and business writing, and I just finished one of the classes in business writing, doing the feature story which I came out of excellently. Thank you very much. Um, oh, I forgot to mention this the other day. I picked this up, this little squirt bottle, off of Amazon for less than six bucks. Okay. Now, you know, one of the worst problems with some of the um, facial mists and stuff is that you've got to sit there and pump and pump and pump. And there's one or two that you can buy commercially that have the continuous spray thing going on. Well, guess what? You know the, the oil pumps that you can pump up for your kitchen and then it does a... This one is for cosmetics. There's this extra tube. There's the regular tube that's got the feed thing. And then there's this extra tube that holds pressure. And it, the, the, the mist is a little aggressive. But I can hold this thing out away from my face and push the handle one time 
and spray my whole face. Just whoop. Done. And it's wonderful. I'm going to get a few more of those to put some other stuff in. You know, like some of the spray moisturizers and that kind of stuff. And some of the just refresher sprays. This one's my setting spray. And I'm like, oh, this is wonderful. I don't have to pay Bucoops to Bucks for somebody's fancy commercial, probably got the wrong kind of propellant in it to help the ozone, um, continuous spray thing. So, yeah, I'm thrilled. Now, let's see. I put some of the Revolution Ultimate Eye Base on. I figured, what the heck, I've got Revolution Palette, Revolution Eye Base. When I got this bunch of Revolution Palettes that I picked up, I picked up the Eye Base too, just for the heck of it. I wanted to try it. I figured, might as well if I'm going to do this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There's something else that I found out. I didn't even realize that this was, was a thing until I saw somebody else doing it. Um... They were doing a comparison between the Ace Butte Nostalgia Palette and the Revolution Birds Paradise. And I said, wait a minute. I got the Ace Butte Nostalgia Palette in a box recently. And in the order I did with Revolution, I got Birds of Paradise. Oh, I can do an actual, for real, Really? Do co comparison. I'm, I'm, I'm confused. How did I manage to do that? Well, it wasn't by, it, it had to be completely by chance because I didn't plan on it. Anyway, let me start putting some of this stuff on here. What am I going to do first? What do I want to do first? Uh, let's see. I'm going to start with this green up here in the corner. Now, this green up here in the corner, because it's a matte green. So we'll start there to go with my green hair. And kind of do this going across. Just because I am closer to being finished with the book. Closer. Well, for one thing, trying to get things formatted has been an issue because neither Google Docs nor Word are necessarily set up to format a book. And I didn't want to buy Adobe because it's expensive which is really annoying. I don't know why it needs to be so bloody expensive. But, okay, I got word, I got the entirety of the office suite really inexpensively because it was available through my school, which is lovely, but even through the school, Adobe is not inexpensive. Because I are a student, I got the entire office suite without being on the 365 live thing with the um, with the subscription got the whole thing 
for 30 bucks. Don't ask me to go buy you one from the same place. I am not able to even buy my husband one. They keep count. The store that's doing the sale keeps track and keeps count, and they have to verify your student ID before they will sell it to you. I cannot buy it for anybody else, so don't even start. Oh, sweat. Sweat! I thought I'd fixed that, but apparently not. I used some of the stuff that, that 4F Beauty Angie told, the, told people about, the zero sweat. And I kind of put it around the perimeter so it's like not sweating running down my face when I'm trying to do this, even in this heat. But apparently this heat is outstripping my fancy no sweat stuff. Okay. Oh, that's kind of neat so far. It's a pretty green. Let's darken up this outer corner here. Put some brown in. It's got a really nice dark chocolate brown in the, the lower corner right below that run a little bit of that brown under here just for the heck of it. We'll see how it looks. If I don't like it, I'll like use some micellar water on it before I do the rest of my mud. I'm still having a problem with doing this. I always end up with this one up and this one down because of the way my face droops on this side. Which is really annoying. That's a little closer. Got my rag over here. Do, 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 Bring the green up just a little more to meet that brown. A little closer. I'm going to have to steal my cleaning rag for just a second. And dab. I will very likely not be putting anything 
on the face specifically. We shall see. But I've got a funny feeling that trying to put anything on my face in this weather with our current heat index is going to be an exercise in futility and frustration. Okay. All right, people. Remember, if you are in hot weather, regardless of where you are, if you are in hot weather, whether you can sweat and evaporate or not, if you are sweating, you need to be hydrating. Don't make me have to remind you the hard way. Because if you're not careful, I'll be writing you an email going, Nanny Boo Boo, I told you so. Because I'm rude like that. I just am. I will pick on you. If you don't take care of you. Okay, now. There's several different sparkly things. There's a dark green sparkly thing, which I'm probably going to put in here. But there's also a purple sparkly thing, and a pink sparkly thing, and a gold sparkly thing. And then there's this really chunky glittery thing. I don't know about that one. Let's see. Now, am I gonna put the sparkly dark green in here or am I gonna put the purple in here or am I gonna put the pink any suggestions come on guys speak up talk louder I can't hear you get my brush spritzer out Get my brush spritzer out. Let's see. You know what? I think I'm going to put some pink in there. Well, it's sort of a binky purple. But it's not really purple purple. It's kind of that binky purple that, that, that comes from being... Marijuana flower. Also goes along with that purple haze song, you know. We know how this all works. See if I can't coax a little more out of this. Because it's not, so far, this is not my favorite shimmer. I have had some really nice shimmers in some of the other Revolution palettes that I have played with so far. But this burply one is really not my favorite currently. Let's see if I can get it to work a little better for me here. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. Oh, 
Oh, don't I look shiny? I am so dewy. Hush. Just remember, ladies don't sweat, they get dewy. That's how it works. Just ask me. And I will continue to tell you. Ladies, do not sweat. They get dewy. It is unforgivable for a lady to sweat. It's unforgivable for someone to even suggest that they have sweated. They may become a little flushed. Honey, ladies were not even supposed to sweat if they were in labor. It didn't matter where they were, where they were going, how hot it was. I was grow I growed up to being told ladies don't sweat. Can I am here to tell you they lie. They lie about such things. Because if the weather is this bad, y'all gonna sweat. Ain't no two ways about it. There is sweat. Mm. So I'll take the curl right out of my hair. <sighs> Beg pardon. I had to get the dew off. I ain't fooling nobody. We already know that. I am dewy beyond work. No, oh, I am not currently practicing with my left hand because my left hand has been wanting to shake for two minutes. So,
got that bit on. And one of the things that I like that is hard to find because my eyelashes and eyebrows are really not that dark. When I was born, I was a toe-headed baby. It was white hair. And it has gradually gotten darker over the years, but I was a toe-headed baby. And my eyelashes and eyebrows only got so dark, which is really weird. Now, my daddy was born toe-headed. with his big blue eyes. As he got older, his hair went cold black. His daddy did the same thing. His daddy had violet eyes. Yes, violet eyes. I have always been jealous of that. I wanted those violet eyes. My mom was born toe-headed. As she got older, her hair got into this really funny looking eh, midland muddy color mousy brown and that was about the color of her eyes just kind of a muddy brown and I'm still trying to figure out how I ended up with light color eyes when usually dark color eyes are dominant when you've got a parent with dark color eyes. And I still came out with light color eyes. And my hair stayed blonde until I was in my 30s and it kind of started going that brown that my mom had by the time she was a teenager but that's also when the gray started coming in anyway the reason I was bringing this up was because AOA studio ta-da brown mascara Brown for a dollar. Mm. I know I keep putting my hair back. Yeah, well, vanity. Come on, now, if I wasn't vain, I wouldn't be doing this to start with. <sighs> anyway, yeah, the brown mascara was the reason that all came up to start with. But now, yeah, my hair is kind of brownish looking when I've got it that short. But believe me, when my husband shows me the handfuls he has taken off, when he does the shave down for me, there's a whole lot of silver in there. Silver and white. If I thought my hair was that way all the way through at this point, I wouldn't bother to color it. I wouldn't need to color it. I'd have plenty of interesting color right there. 
And then I've got, I keep my eyebrow stuff in the light browns to sort of medium brown. It depends on which one I've got and which company I'm getting it from because all of them are just, you know, that little bit different. So I get the one that's the closest to what I feel like works and go from there. But I tend to use browns in my brows instead of anything darker. Now, if I've got my hair done red, I'll use an Auburn pencil. Because I will. <laughs> I've got enough red highlights in my hair. Well, did that it works out pretty well using an Auburn. Oh. Spit, spit, spit. Now, watch this. See? all over my face. Yes, like I said, the spray itself is a little aggressive. So, mm. I'm going to go see what else it is I'm going to do. I'll be back. Alrighty, I'm back. Got a little powder, a little blush, a little of this, a little of that. Did a little lower waterline stuff. Little lip. And took a break because I had to give the grand boy a lukewarm bath because he got overheated. So, yeah, I'm back. The sun is working on going down. It'll be cooling off here in a little bit. So, there you go. Revolution chill in the hot weather. Y'all be careful. If you're in some place that is as hot as it is here, keep hydrated. And that does not mean alcohol. Alcohol dehydrates you quicker. Only way you use alcohol when you're overheated is to wipe yourself down with it because it evaporates better than water, better than sweat, and it will cool you down some that way. Do not pour it in. Okay? Just, yeah. Anyway, usual things. Mind your manners. Keep your distance. Wear your mask if it's still required. Don't give me crap about it. Get your vaccine. Same thing. Don't give me crap about it. Just get on with it. You're taking care of everybody around you when you get your vaccine. Okay? Okay. Thank you. Yes, I hand out this advice so that you know things that you ought to do. 
And you know why? Because advice is cheaper than bail money. So there. Stay out of trouble. Unless you didn't cause it and you've got no other way out. Then I'll think about bail money. Maybe. Be good.